Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the beautiful Ocean City Busan and Busan National Geodox Center. Firstly, I'd like to say sorry about the delay again. Um, we re really appreciate your understanding. Um, how is your journey in Busan so far? Great, nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, Busan is renowned for culture and tourism with its rich history and the city has beautiful coastline with the uh, Korea's largest be beach, Haeundae, and provides extraordinary views from mountains. Also, we have lots of hot springs scattered throughout the city, so I will say you are in the best place to travel around. The first music that you've just listened to is one of our core music called Sujecheon, which is the highly representative of Korean traditional music. And generally, Korean choir music was played for royal procession, ritual ceremonies, or banquets in the palace. And this piece was especially played for the ceremony of queens paying respect to the king. And the title Sujecheon has meaning of wishing for heavenly eternal lives for all those who listen to it. So I believe that all of our lives just have become longer. We have in you have enjoyed the core music, and now I would like to introduce you to a core dance called Hak Yonhwa Demu, which literally means crane and lotus flower dance. Because the piece was performed to praise the king's virtue, this dance represents a luxurious performance in the core banquet. Um, as you already noticed by its title, you will see cranes and lotus flowers on the stage. Dancers in crane costume begin the performance by expressing elegant movement of the crane. And when the crane takes the lotus ball, a young dancer comes up from the lotus flower and starts dancing with the crane. Now it's time to take part in the royal party. Please welcome the performance with a round of applause.
thank you for the beautiful performance. I love the colorful costume and beautiful movement of the dancers. I think the outstanding feature of Korean traditional dance is its slow but delicate and beautiful movement. Um, the stage is now preparing for another dance performance. And since it takes a bit of time to prepare for it, I would like to have a quiz session here. Um, uh, we also prepare a small present for those who get the right answer. Um, so are you ready? <laughs> yeah, first question. Um, how large a city is Busan in Korea? What? Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry? You are talking about the population? Yes. Ah. Uh, you want area? No, I I mean like what number of largest city Busan? Second, Second largest, largest city. city. Second yeah. largest city. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> and next question. What's the most well-known folk song of Korea? You have hint in the pamphlet. The most well-known folk song. Uh, please raise your hand. Uh, the girl on the table. Yeah. Can you help me? <laughs> Sam Gumu. No. Uh, Sorry, it's not the most well-known folk song of oh Korea. Yeah. Uh, yes, the correct answer. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, Arirang is the most well-known folk song in Korea. And you will see the Arirang in this performance as well. Uh, third question. Uh, now the Olympics are taking place in Rio, right? Uh, Korea will be hosting a Winter Olympic in 2018. And what's the name of the town? Uh, once again, please. Pyeong. Pyeong. <laughs> Pyeongchang, yeah, correct. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Korea will host the Winter Olympic in 2018 in Pyeongchang, which is Gangwon province in Korea. Uh, I have another question. It's about the Olympic again. What kind of sports does Korea show remarkable records in Rio Olympic? Uh, ladies on the back. Uh, she was the first. Yeah, af after her, you will have the chance. <laughs> archery? Archery? Uh, archery, yeah, arrow shooting, archery. But I think taekwondo is also well known uh, sports in Korea. So I would like to give him a present as well. Yeah. The gentleman on the middle, in the middle. <laughs> I have a tricky question for the last question. Uh, we are in the Busan National Gugak Center, and anyone knows what Gugak means? Anyone? You are watching a performance involving, sorry? Uh, I can't hear. Sorry. Can you give him a mic? mic? Culture, yeah, uh, like really close to the culture. Especially you are watching this performance about Korean, yeah, folk, traditional. Can you raise a hand? Sorry? Yeah, traditional dance and music. Yeah. Please give him a big round of applause. <laughs>
So yeah, what gugak means Korean traditional music and dance. Also, it contains the song vocal music. Uh, on in white shirt. Do you have present left over? Not much, Sarah? Oh. Um, let me think about the question. Uh, it's really easy question. What's the capital city of Korea? Yeah, gentlemen on <laughs> the very front side, the blue shirt, yeah. So, yes, right. For the last question, let me think. Um, uh, today, in the morning, we had the news that in Olympic, there is a one gold medal. It is added. Uh, anyone knows the what kind of sports it is? Uh, that was like a day before that was archery it was like two days before in the morning we had a very news the very recent news it's pencing yeah we added the golden medal in this morning yeah uh it seems like the stage is all ready uh, yeah this time we are going to enjoy a korean folk dance called samgomu it's a drum dance with not just one drum per performer. It's performed in the middle of three drums and pointing in different directions. One on the left, another one on the right, and the other one on the back. Uh, if Korean court dance is elegant and graceful, our folk dance is more like expressive and dynamic. With the beautiful movement and exciting drum techniques, it's a charming traditional dance that demonstrates feminine and graceful movement with diverse rhythms and tempos. I'm sure you will love this performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big round of applause. Thank you.
can't let them leave without an another round of applause. Thank you. Yeah, that was such an amazing piece of dance. Always look fascinating. And I hope you also feel the same as I did. We have enjoyed beautiful Korean traditional dances. And now I would like to introduce our traditional vocal music. The title of the song is Arirang, uh, which is the most well-known folk song that all Koreans love. Arirang has been passed down from mouth to mouth and this has allowed the song to develop in different styles in different regions. Surprisingly, there are about 3,600 variations of arirang in 60 different styles throughout Korea. For today's stage, we have specially selected arirangs from Gyeonggi and Namdo area. Arirangs in Gyeonggi area, nearby the capital city Seoul, tend to be soft, lyrical and bright. And whereas Namdo Arirang that has been transmitted in the uh, southwestern part of Korea has more dramatic and rich expressions. Not only the vocalist, but also a variety of Korean traditional instruments is ready for the music to present the nationwide Korean folk song, Arirang. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause.
How did you like the Arirang? Yeah, great. Did you also catch the different styles of each Arirang? Yeah. Uh, every time I listen to Arirang, I'm emotionally touched because the song fully expresses our lives and strong emotion. I wish I could have more time to explain about the song and the lyrics, but now it's time to move on to the next stage. Uh, next is a traditional dance called Butchechum, which means fan dance. Uh, this dance was created by combining the exciting atmosphere of shaman rituals with elegant movements of chord music. The fans are open and close and move in sweeping motions to express the trembling flower and flowing water. The fans look more fascinating when in a group than solo. I think that's because it makes flows of such movement when working together. I guess many of you have seen Butchechum in pictures or video clips, and now you will have the chance to enjoy the dance in person. Let's enjoy one of the most popular Korean traditional dance, Butchechum. Please welcome the performers with a round of applause.
the genre of music that you've just listened to is an instrumental solo piece called Kanjo, performed with a traditional string instrument called Kayagum. So we call it Kayagum Sanjo. Sanjo is a folk music that can express a player's own interpretation and improvisational techniques. So it's usually called the flower of folk music of Korea. Now it's time to introduce our last performer today. Uh, have you enjoyed the today's concert? Yeah, thank you. I hope you had a great time. Uh, the last performance is Gonnabu Pungjang Nori. First, when I saw the title, I couldn't imagine how the performance would be like. Because I knew Pungjang Nori means a peasant music with various percussion instruments. But I wasn't sure why they added gonnabu, which means flowers and butterflies. And after I watched it, I found out why. And you will also be able to find out while you're watching it. And I would say it's far more than just a, a musical performance. I'm sure you couldn't stop clapping because of this fantastic piece of art. Once again, thank you very much for your visiting Busan National Gugak Center. And I hope you make lots of unforgettable memories while you stay in Busan and bring back those memories safely back home. Please come back again to Busan and Busan National Gugak Center. I'm so glad that I can wrap up today's concert with this performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the last performance. And everyone, have a safe journey. Thank you. <laughs>